Hey there, good looking. Join me for this fun cardio workout that is also going to incorporate strength drills. And if you're part of the 21 day fit and fierce challenge, welcome to day 14. Woo! Now for this workout, I would love for you to grab a pair of moderate size dumbbells. For reference, I'm using a pair of tens and that's all. All right, lace up your runners. Let's go get warmed up. Hello there and welcome. My name is PJ Rand and I've been a certified personal trainer for almost three decades now, specializing in the over 40 body. You can find me on fitnesswithpj.com or I'm also the creator and lead trainer for over50fitness.co. Now, let's get ourselves warmed up because we are diving into a cardio strong workout that I know you are going to love. Yes? Yes? Okay, good. Here we go. Feet apart. You're like, no, PJ, no. Hands light behind the ears. Let's do a squat. Drive up, push the knees, or sorry, push the bum back, knees track with the toes, and then I want the head up once you've established that the knees are going in the direction we need them to go. So we only have really four moves, but um, <laughs> they're pretty powerful moves, and we have four rounds. Now for the strength portion, we'll be working 45 seconds. So it's a little bit more endurance than um, actual pure strength. And then we have 30 second drills in between each movement to get the heart rates up. Last two and one. Beautiful. Give yourself some room laterally. We're stepping out for a side lunge. Reach across, tap the toe if you can. Remember when you do this though, you want to make sure that you're bending your knees and hinging from the hips to get the hand down there. Last three and two. One more. One. All right, we got to do the other side. Ready? Stay squared to me. Good job. Step it out. Push your bum back. Good. All right, you keep going. My dog Bella needs to go outside. Keep going. Come on, go outside, baby girl. Hmm? Good girl. There you go. I'm back. <laughs> she was standing at the door, so let's do one more. Beautiful, excellent. Now, soften the knees, give yourself some room in front, take yourself down for a walk out. Now, if this is too much or you're just not interested in doing this move, you can do a high plank off of the hands and hang there, warming up the core and shoulders that way. But I would encourage you to try one or two. And you can bend the knees to get down there. You know, I've w worked with a variety of fitness levels, bodies, and ages. And I get them all doing these walkouts. It's a really good drill to warm up the body. Let's do one more. And release. All right, we're going to take it into a low impact jumping jack, taking it side to side. Good job. We have 30 seconds here. If you'd like to go higher impact, here we go. We want to land soft with this. Getting the heart rate up. We've got one more drill and then we'll begin. Ten more seconds. And release. All right, feet hip width apart, hands light behind the ears. Push the bum back, perform a good morning drill, and then for our sake, teaching us how to do the hip hinge because we will be doing a deadlift as one of our exercises. So we want to make sure that we're hinging that top of the thigh there, not at the waistband, pushing the bum rearward, trying to seek the wall behind you. Last four, three, two, good job, and one. Woo! All right, 
Our first move is a bicep curl to a shoulder press. Grab your dumbbells. Now, fingers crossed that I programmed the timer correctly because <laughs> we're all over the place for time, so I couldn't just program one time. All right, so let's get ourselves set up. This is our strength move. So I want you to be rooted, abs engaged, and curl up, press up, slowly lower. Now you can also do one at a time. That's one way to modify the movement pattern. And if shoulder presses don't work for you, you'll do the bicep curl. All right, always variety, always choices for you. When we're doing the curl though, please don't swing it. So this is our 45 second exercise. Our second exercise will be 30 seconds. And we're gonna perform a squat jump or a squat heel lift if you don't like jumping. And that's our cardio move actually for the entire workout. <laughs> Time, bend the knees to get the dumbbells down. All right, squat and jump or squat and heel lift. Watching me up there if you wanna do the low impact. Ready, go. Now, if you're joining me on the jump, I want you to land soft. 30 seconds, and this is our cardio move for the entire workout. <laughs> Woo. Pace yourself. 30 seconds is a long time doing a squat jump. Time, all right. Grab the dumbbells, beginners, no dumbbells. Feet hip width apart, alternating reverse lunges. All right, I'm going to my side. And you drop that back knee as far down as it feels comfortable. Now, if you have really sensitive knees or because of all the squats that we're doing in between each movement, you'll see me there in the corner doing a weighted bridge. So there's your alternative if you're just not interested in doing a knee flexion exercise. Cause like I said, we are doing a lot of squat jumps or squat heel lifts if that's what you choose to do. Whew. Time, all right, guess what, uh-huh. <laughs> Squat jumps. <laughs> you ready? Feet apart, go. Land soft or low impact, up to you. Oh boy. Did I tell you how many rounds we have to do? Yeah. You know what? It's best that you just <laughs> remain ignorant. <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to know. <laughs> Woo. Dime. Okay. Deadlift. So we'll use the dumbbells, hinge through the hip, work into the hamstrings and glutes. Ready? Slide the hands down the front of the thighs. Squeeze the booty. Come all the way up. All right, I'll tell you. We have four rounds. So tomorrow, when somebody asks you, Hey, what'd you do yesterday? <laughs> you can say a bajillion squat jumps. That's what I did yesterday. <laughs> After this, what do you think we do? That's right, squat jump. Keep those shoulder blades pulled together, not allowing the upper back to round. Time. Okay, here we go. Whew. Squat jump, and then hopefully the timer takes it back to the top, because we're gonna take it back to the top to curl and press for round two. I'm so happy we have air conditioning in the house. Vancouver's in a heat wave right now as I film this. <laughs> I would not be a happy camper if I did not have AC. I wouldn't be filming this actually. <laughs> I would not be filming it. 
All right. Yeah, I did it right. Here we go, curl press. Whew. One or two, up to you. Whew. However, last summer, I recorded a score of workouts during a really bad heat wave. We had no AC. It's that heat wave that made us get AC. <laughs> it was 40 degrees. So I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. 90, 95. Uh, freaking hot. How's that? Yeah, that's what it is in Fahrenheit. Freaking hot. <laughs> and I was the jackass <laughs> filming in my living room with a bazillion lights on. <laughs> Squat jump. <laughs> I think I lost three pounds in water weight alone that, that day. Up here in Canada, we don't really do AC, at least not in BC. However, <laughs> climate change is making a lot of us rethink that. Woo! Time! Woo! All right, grab your dumbbells. You're either doing reverse lunges with me or weighted bridges with mini me. Ready, set, go. For the lunges, you go deep as deep as it feels good for your knees. If you've been part of the Fit and Fierce Challenge, I hope you've learned that. Kind of the range of motion that's going to challenge you without pain in the joint. Advanced people, if you're able to, let's try and get that knee all the way down to our ground. And remember, an easy, easy way to modify this one is to get rid of the weight. Time. Whew. Bend your knees to get the dumbbells down. You know it. Squat jumps. Go. <laughs> My thighs are shaking. Woo! Come on, quads. <laughs> oh, is this 30 seconds? I hope so. Okay, deadlifts. Woo! Once again, nobody doing this workout, myself included, is going to like me by the end. <laughs> We're really gonna dislike me, but I will win you back in the cool down, like I always do. Or maybe I don't, <laughs> and you move on. <laughs> Thank you for trying me out. <laughs> All right, so it's that hip hinge, right? I know, I know, I nag, I'm so sorry, but it is so important, and there isn't enough emphasis placed on that and other workouts out there in the world. So I need you to do it right to protect your back. All right, squat jump. You know what I'm gonna do? Squat jump to squat heel lift. I'm gonna break it up. Squat jump, squat heel lift. Yeah? That work for you too. Oh, I still got me. All right, curl to press. Top of round three, ready, set, go. Knees soft, pull that belly button in towards the spine. 
Feet shoulder width apart. No swinging the dumbbells. And again, go single arm if you're getting pooped. Just keep moving for me, okay? You push play, you've done the hard part. Hard part done, I'm proud of you. You should be proud of you too. Hopefully you have AC on where you live. Time. Whew. Yeah, you know it. Squat jump. Again, make sure you bend those knees when we place the dumbbells down and pick them up again. Let's go. I'm going to do the heel lift every second one. I don't know why I didn't teach this one to begin with. We went right out of the gate with pure squat jumps. So, Many different options here I'm giving you as I tuck her out myself. So follow what's going to feel best for you, but keep you challenged. Time. All right, alternating reverse lunges, or if the knees are getting tired, right? Mini me, you got weighted bridges. Ready, set, and go. Actually, it's really weird weather we're having. As mentioned, it's a heat wave, but it's also really windy. It's like a furnace out there, blowing hot wind everywhere. Again, completely unusual for the west coast of Canada. Time. Whew. All right. Squat jumps. fierce people. Good thing we didn't train legs yesterday, huh? Oh <laughs> no. <sighs> Time. Whew. All right, deadlift. So feet shoulder width, knees soft. Pull the belly button towards the spine. Push your bum back like you're touching the wall behind you. Drive all the way up. Shoulder blades pinched. Once you've seen me, your gaze is straight ahead. So you want to keep that neck in line. Ears stay over shoulders the entire lift. So that means as you come forward, you don't let the head drop. Time. Whew. All right. Squat jump. Whew. I was having a good hair day. That's going to be done. <laughs> Are you working out first thing in the morning? If you're able to handle that, it's the best way to adhere to your program. It's been shown time and time again. Get it done before life can take over. Time. Okay, this is our final round. I'm going to try squat jumps for all of them. So what I say now, that may change. All right, curl to press. I'm going to be remain fluid and I may change my mind. Anyways, back to the morning exercise. I find that that's where most people stick with their program. However, when's the best time to work out? 
whenever the hell you can fit it in. So for me, it's afternoons. It's always been like that for as long as I've been a trainer. So 30 years, I've been working out in the afternoons. And now that I don't personally train people early in the morning, I'm still working out in the afternoon. I don't want to wake up and work out. It's just not me. My body knows afternoons. Time. So stick with what's going to work for you and your schedule. All right, not what you read on the internet. That's best. Go. You know best, not the internet. Oh my goodness. All right, reverse lunges or weighted glute bridges. Go. However, let's go back to that one to work out speech. <laughs> if you can work out in the morning, go for it. <laughs> I admire people. We have people in our Patreon community and over 50 fitness that wake up at 5.30 in the morning. joy squat jumps yeah I don't like me either okay I'm fully on board with you not liking me I thought to myself as I was programming this oh man this will be a good one people will be challenged yep we're challenged Pre-workout PJ, we're challenged. Time. Ooh. All right, last two moves. Deadlift. Ooh. Go. Remember that head, not letting it drop. This would be a fine workout to do with tubing as well. You can do all these moves that we did with tube. So easy to travel with. Time, all right. This is it, our final squat jump. Ooh, yep. <laughs> What'd you do yesterday? A bajillion of these. Why'd you do that? Who knows? Some girl on the internet told me to. <laughs> this lonely woman in Canada who has no friends. <laughs> Whew. Huh. I got one friend. <laughs> Time. Oh my goodness. Come here. We got to do it. We got to high five. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you're here with me? Okay, good. High five. I am damn proud of you. All right, keep the feet moving. Whew. Grab a sip of water. That was 24 minutes of fun. We'll bring the heart rates down. Whew. All right. Do a little bit of stretch, and then you can continue on with your day. If you're part of the Fit and Fierce Challenge, tomorrow is our active rest day. <laughs> We're going to be stretching our legs, okay? So just a heads up, you'll get in some really yummy, deep leg stretches with tomorrow's workout. 
All right. Let's get left knee on the mat. Double up the mat if that bothers your knee. Lunge forward and then lean back. You want to feel the pull in this hip flexor. Your back toe can be flexed or laces resting on the ground. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, lean away. All right, grab your dumbbells. Don't worry. We're not, grab your dumbbells. We're going to take it from the top. <laughs> Trainer humor. No, grab your dumbbells. We're going to use them like a yoga block. Place them straight up and get that right leg back in front and straighten it now. All right, here we go now. Hinge through that hip joint there. Come forward. Use the dumbbells to build your ground up to give yourself a really nice hamstring stretch. <laughs> Could you imagine? Let's do it again. You know what? 30-year-old PJ would have done it. 52-year-old PJ is quite happy with where we're at. <laughs> it's not that I've lowered my expectations. It's just that I'm easier to please now. <sighs> All right, let's do the other side. <laughs> Lunge forward. Now tuck the tailbone under. Squeeze that right glute. And that's going to give you a nice release in the hip flexor. Inhale that right arm straight up. Exhale, lean. As we get older, we've got nothing to prove anymore. It's a beautiful, liberating, wonderful feeling. All right, let's straighten that front leg. We're using the dumbbells again, build our ground up. Ah, doesn't that feel lovely? Whew. Thank you so much for joining me. I know there's a lot of choice out there for your workouts, so I am grateful that you chose me. If you want to continue working deeper together, you can either join us over on Over 50 Fitness if you're not already there with us, or join us over on Patreon. All the information's down below if you're viewing this on YouTube. Whew. And release. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you joining me. I look forward to reading your comments. And hey, I'll see you next workout. Bye.